Good morning. Got a question today that I'm pretty sure everyone's asked themselves at least once, uh, going through LR multiple times, which is what would happen if the Fascinator and Oracle faced off at any point. I'm pretty sure the obvious answer would be she would get crushed in her normal form and completely wipe him out in the uh, ultimate one. But uh, yeah, what, uh, what we have here is kind of a mashup between the two. Uh, Generally speaking, there is no way to remake her actual ultimate one, and her regular one's a little bit basic. So this is kind of what uh, what I came up with here. I used the Cronus instead of her normal core. Kind of functions in a similar way, and I think the uh, edges look very similar. Uh, instead of the Nyx on the left, upgraded her to uh, Gatling Gun. Uh, the thing has generally got the same kind of pressure and damage output. It just happens to be this game's version of it. And then she has her uh, left hand um, HP pistol like she did in her other ultimate form. Uh, the back parts are the same as her regular, and her insides have been swapped around as well as her boosters to make her function a bit more like her normal self. So she's a little bit faster than her normal version, a little bit slower than her ultimate one. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens when she fights this a-hole. So uh, the Oracle's been altered slightly. Uh, his back cannon's been replaced with a radar because he didn't really use it in this one. I didn't, you know, there's really no way to make him use it. And uh, there wasn't really any rocket equivalent that would have had the same role. They, generally speaking, for the damage that the thing puts out, it would have uh, been dramatically more uh, heavy. So, Generally speaking, he puts out his same damage with his regular learning rifle. Uh, he doesn't need the back one, simply because the fights don't last that long. And then his missiles are the same. He's got his other stuff more or less the same. And uh, yeah, functions about as aggressively. So let's see what happens here. As usual, it is a 3 out of 5 fight. And all the maps are randomized. So first we've got close quarters with ECM interference. Uh... Vangel should have the upper hand here because of his radar. Uh, Zaneda's set up for pretty decent tracking. Uh, she's got a radar in her head. Uh, she's got 50% into tracking, so it'll it'll do the job. It's not fantastic. Uh, so she's set up for close range and high aggression, uh, which seems to be having problems. Also, I'm, I'm not sure her ECM pods are having much of an effect on him. I think he's uh, countering it pretty effectively. Alright. You know, I actually never noticed that she used ECM interference. Honestly, probably should have figured. I always figured that she was just kind of getting out of long range pretty easily. And alright, he had the early advantage, but uh, now it seems that he had lost his lock on and now he's getting pummeled. There we go. That's one of the fascinator. <laughs> yeah, I really like how this thing turned out. It took a little bit of tweaking, but um, that's not the right one. But yeah, I think she turned out pretty decent. It's not exact, and that is the wrong map. We're gonna have to cancel out of that one. That's unfortunate. So yeah, I always cancel out of maps if they're the same one twice in a row. Uh, just because then sometimes it is a little bit BS when that happens. It's rare because there are quite a few maps. But, you know, every one to five parts, it'll be there. That is what it is. I'll drop a save here. What the hell is going on here? Alright, we're gonna back out of this. I have never seen it do that so many times in a row. Apparently really, really wants this to happen in a furnace. Uh, what can you do? Thank you. Thank you for a different map. So, close range again, no ECM interference this time, but uh, she does have her own built in. So, I would think the Fascinator has an advantage here. Let's look at it from Vangel's side. 
Uh, his rifle is generally going to overpower most of her uh, most of her offensive options at uh, mid to long range. It's only when she gets into super close range that he's kind of getting pressured and into trouble. If he got a slash in, that would completely change it. But uh, she would have to get pretty close for him to actually trigger to go in for a slash. For a cut, but missed. Although they're still putting out pretty decent damage. I mean, he's honestly got the uh, the overall stat advantage. I'd say. I mean, she she's got higher uh, offense potential, but most of her accuracy is kind of all over the place. She's more of a spray and pray build. Although it does tend to get a bit more accurate once she pulls out the pistol. But I think she's got a second round in here. Yep, there we go. Two to the Fascinator. And let's see if she gets a third in a row and wins it. I was thinking with the Oracle, I was thinking to try and remake him a little bit to be a bit more aggressive with his blade. He's set up for kind of medium to close range, so he should be using it a lot of the time. The problem is the way the EI th the EI, the way the AI thinks, it they have to be pretty close by. He mostly uses it as a you know slap you get out of my face kind of thing. So again, he acts. This is the uh, the Nexus version. Uh, when I remake him for the uh, LR version, that one's going to be a lot more blading aggressive because in Nexus he didn't use his cuts very much. Um, the problem being pretty darn easy because of that. Every one of those test fights is like, oh, I'm the greatest, I'm the greatest ever. And then he just ends up getting squashed because he doesn't want to fight at close range, and you can just get in and bubble the crap out of him. But his mix is built is so much cooler. I don't know, he became kind of a dork in LR. Just... I don't know, the, the image that I got of this guy in LR wasn't so much like, okay, in Nexus it was like, okay, this is your standard friggin' cool guy just trying to be trying to be the best at everything ever, and then LR comes around, and he's like, I don't know, some ch chubby guy in his basement. I want to be the greatest, I'm the greatest ever, don't question it, oh my god! He's super angry all the time, I imagine like he goes to get a cup of coffee and he just breaks the thing because the coffee didn't immediately call him the best ever, you know? <laughs> this coffee's offended me! I'm the greatest, I have to have the greatest coffee. Uh, who knows, maybe you can run for president. Um, so yeah, he's, uh, just that sort of thing, and I think he's actually gonna take it this time. Uh, she wasted all of her left arm shots, she didn't use her missiles very well, and, uh, looks like she's about to eat it as a result. Yep. He only needs one, yep. I'm actually surprised that she survived that second to last one. Because it should have been enough to take her out. But alright, two to one, let's see if he can pull it back. I would be amazed if he could, but they're more evenly matched than they look. Because for all of the firepower it has, the Fascinator is and always has been kind of frail. She just gets kind of BS stat buffs uh, in her ultimate form, but at any rate, it's uh, like it's a mid lightweight. It can't take too much punishment, it just relies on overpowering the other guy and keeping pressure on and those ECM pods. Which I honestly can't believe I haven't used more often. Man, those things are awesome. Though to be fair, so is Napalm. And I'm constantly switching now between which is more, you know, potentially disabling ECM pods or, uh, or Napalm. I know he can build, you know, make builds to resist it, but well, he can make builds to resist both. It's just a, a lot harder uh, for uh, the fire, just because you have to put all your points into cooling, have it, all your setup set up for cooling. You're generally, going to have lower energy output as a result. And but yeah, you're going to have lower defense, lower energy, 
Whereas with ECM stuff, you just have a nice head, put a good radar on there, and done deal. Alright, there we go. So the Fascinator wins it.